Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. In this tutorial we will discuss the HLOOKUP and VLOOKUP function of Excel. In my previous video I have already discussed the VLOOKUP function in detail. The link to that video is given in the description below. Alright so let's start with the VLOOKUP function by entering our formula and see how it works. Press equal type VLOOKUP open parenthesis lookup values jacket comma select the table array like this comma the column index number the column index number for this table is free because we are looking for selling price of jacket free comma false for the exact match close parenthesis there you go now we have a price of jacket which is dollar forty five now let's discuss the HLOOKUP function and see a scenario in which the HLOOKUP function is applicable instead of the VLOOKUP function. You might have noticed that this table is actually different from this table. The values that are given in this table are in the vertical columns and the values in this table are in rows or in horizontal formats. So that's the scenario in which we use the HLOOKUP function when we have our data in the row or horizontal format. We can also see it in the definition that HLOOKUP represents the horizontal lookup. That's how it is and can be used to extract data from a table while searching a row for a corresponding data and representing the related column. While VLOOKUP looks for the value in a column HLOOKUP looks for the value in the rows. We will further see it in detail while using this formula. So press equal, type HLOOKUP, open parenthesis, lookup value is jacket, comma, now it asks for table here, select your table array, comma. Now there you see, now it asks for row index number. And in the VLOOKUP function, we have the column index number in the formula. So we will see where the selling price is in the row of the table. So one, two, three, it's in the third row. So we enter three, comma. And for the exact match, we will type false, close parenthesis, enter. There you go. Now we have a price of jacket, which is $1.45. We can see the price of shoe, all right, 60 for tie 12. That's how it is. So so this is the scenario in which we use the HLOOKUP function instead of the VLOOKUP function when we have our data given in the row or the horizontal format. And this is the first limitation of VLOOKUP function. And for the other limitations, we will use the more advanced and the new feature of Excel, which is the XLOOKUP function. XLOOKUP function almost address the all limitations and problems that we are still facing with the VLOOKUP function and we are going to discuss those limitations in our next video. So stay tuned guys, subscribe to our channel, bye for now.